What's going on guys? Welcome back to another Goku Runner Talks Tuesday. In this episode, we're going to do a recap of the Austin Marathon race that I just posted. <laughs> All right, guys, so if you guys watched that video, thanks for watching. I know it was a little bit longer than what I usually do. Uh, I try to keep it under 20. And because I wasn't running my own race, I was kind of pacing Willie, just helping him out to finish the race. Uh, I had a lot of footage. So because of that, I decided to just go ahead and put everything out there because I thought it was interesting content. And, you know, 26 minutes is a long time, but it seems like y'all were watching it. I got like 50% retention rate. So people are watching about 12 to 13 minutes of it, which is pretty good for my channel. So if you guys did check that out, thanks for watching it. I hope you guys did enjoy that video. And it seems to be going well from the comments and what I've been seeing. So if you guys do see my videos, make sure to give them a thumbs up and comment so that I actually know that people are watching those videos because I don't get a ton of views like other YouTubers. I get, you know, 100, 200 views. And that's, that's like a lot for me. So if you guys do comment and thumbs up, I know that I am doing something where people are actually watching. So I do appreciate all of that. So how did my Austin half marathon race go? Well, like I said, I was pacing Willie. Uh, I was just going to give him the race because I did win the race from Team Radioactive and I was just going to give him that entry. But he said that he didn't want to drive up there. Uh, so basically he wanted me to drive up there. It was his birthday. So I was like, okay, I'm going to sign him up. And it was expensive, y'all. Like I said in the previous video, it was about $180 for me to sign him up. So it was a pretty pricey race. And I hope that that's not how races go. $180 for a half marathon is a lot. But I guess because of the pandemic and because it was a lot less people running the race, they did have to increase the price a little bit. But hopefully it doesn't get that crazy. I know for next year, the price for the half marathon right now, if you sign up early, uh, it's about 89 bucks. That's about regular for a big time marathon like the Austin Marathon is. So the city of Austin is a great, it's a great time. Always a lot of food out there. We ran the race and you know, there wasn't many spectators this time around. Usually there's a bunch of spectators giving a bunch of stuff away. You guys did see that I got the mimosa during the race, which was fun. Me and my brother, we love races and we love the experience of the race. So, you know, you you might see us taking it easy or not going that hard. That's just the way we like to run races. And plus, Willie was not trained whatsoever. He has not been running for well over a year. And uh, I signed him up for this race. And you may say that it's not safe for him to run a race, but Willie has run 100 milers, 100 Ks in the hardest, hardest of races like the Habanero 100. He's done that twice, the 100 K twice. He's done a 100 miler. So I knew that he had the mental fortitude inside of him to finish the race. And running for a lot of people, you know, you sometimes you think that you can't do it and you can because it's just the mental side of you that thinks that you can't do it. And Willie is a good example of somebody that always pushes people to run races that they think that they can't do, but he knows that they can. Like uh, when we had our GTS group, he was pushing people to run half marathons, pushing people to do marathons, 10Ks, 5Ks, when they didn't think they could do it, they thought that they weren't trained enough to do it. But as you can see, Willie was not trained at all, but he pushed his body, pushed his mind to do it. Of course, you don't want to risk injury and he didn't do it. He's smart. We took it easy and uh, it was a good race. Uh, for me, uh, my heart rate, if you guys saw my Strava data, that was actually Willie's Strava data because his watch wasn't completely charged before the race. So I actually gave him my Garmin watch to run with. So he was running with my Garmin and I was running with his Apex Pro over here. So my heart rate for the whole race was average about 133. So it wasn't a tough race for me. I was holding back a whole lot uh, to help out Willie. And I enjoyed it because I got to spend the day with my brother running the hills of Austin Marathon. So I had a good time uh, doing that. Uh, and we finished, we finished the race. You guys can watch that. I don't really have to do a full recap. Just go ahead and watch the video so you can see the full recap. But we finished and after the race, uh, he was hurting pretty good. He was walking pretty gingerly, but uh, 
I was walking fine and we did go out to eat. Afterwards, we had some good barbecue. I'll throw up some footage of that right here. The barbecue was awesome. I uh, got that protein in us. I also got a protein shake inside the little bag that they gave us after the race. So that was cool. Uh, and you know, the race was really well put on. It wasn't as big as I thought it was. They did say it on that race day in the video, you can even hear it. The guy said it's about 6,500 people. But from what I saw in the results, it was only about 3,500 people. But this is a good sign that races are coming back because this is one of the biggest races that I've heard of that has actually gone on. So races are coming back. Be prepared. I was vaccinated. Races are back. So go ahead and sign up for races, get vaccinated, and start doing races. But other than that, for me, I felt really good during that race. As far as recovery right now, I am recovering. Yesterday I went for a run and I thought I could have went harder, but today I'm feeling a little bit of hip tenderness, hip soreness. So while I was going easy, I do have some effects from after that, so I do need to recover and recovery is going well. But this was a good confidence booster for me to show that I could still run the distance of a, you know, a half marathon or even longer. So now I'm excited to sign up for longer races because I know that I can do it. Even though I wasn't super trained myself, I only had ran eight miles or nine miles at my longest before the race, which is probably good enough, but I think I could definitely run probably a 215 to 230 if I did actually push myself and ran it myself. So uh, I'm excited to sign up for more races because races are going on. So that's uh, basically what I want to say, a little bit of a ramble for this Goku Runner Talks. And I do want to bring Goku Runner Talks two days back because I kind of stopped them because I was doing that for a year and a half or more. And it's hard to find topics, but I think if you guys give me topics down below on what to do my next Goku Runner Talks Tuesday about, I'll bring these back because I think those were uh, pretty popular on my channel and I do want to bring them back. Just need some topics to talk about. So give me some topics down below and next Tuesday, I'll talk all about that topic. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching the Austin Marathon video. If you guys haven't watched it, go check it out. If you guys aren't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that right now and make sure to give me that thumbs up. All right, guys, hope you guys enjoyed this video. See you guys next time. Peace out.